I'm Catherine Story and this is House of Story and I am really excited to share with you my journey in the design world and I'm starting with what I call is my fashion education which was living in London in the 80s. I met a man in California and I fell in love with him and I followed him back to London. Um, at the time I wasn't ready to get married. We lived with his parents and I was doing odd jobs like working in pubs and you couldn't, I had to get do work that was paid under the table. It was very, very strict. And I always wanted to be in, I always had this fashion thing. Like when I was in California, I worked at stores, department stores, and I grew up in Laguna Beach. I grew up as a, you know, in the seventies where you're, wearing all that great tie-dyed fashion and like it was really a free time and so I wanted actually to do a store but it was complicated of course if I couldn't even work how am I going to do a store so I I actually after going back and forth California and London several times my mom worked in the airlines so it made it easy for me to go back and forth I told him you know I can't live with your with your mom and dad anymore like I'm like a grown woman like this is making me crazy so uh, no matter how nice they were it really didn't matter it had nothing to do with being nice it had to do with like I needed to start my life I think being raised an American and being raised in the environment I was I was always career driven my mother always worked and I I like be, working was just part of who I wanted to be and who I was so he ended up getting his own flat I ended up going back and we, one of the things we loved to do was go to Camden Market. So by that time I, I got my own sewing machine because I decided I want to start playing with making things. I don't remember exactly why I decided that. I just knew in my heart I wanted to do that. So Camden Market was the original, you know, vintage and craft flea market in London it was in a lock which means it was on the river the canal and we used to go there every Sunday and it was just fun I loved every minute of it and so they were opening up a new right now in Camden it's covered in like all kinds of vendors at that time there was only Camden lock electric ballroom and then there I was next to the electric ballroom and we had a stall there and I started um, buying things but I also started making things in particular I started knitting for some reason like what the heck I don't even know but I knew it was something I could do with my hands that I could turn into I could make a scarf like you can just knit for days right while you're watching TV and but the biggest takeaway from that time was being around so many creatives that were so um, okay with not knowing how to do things like the right way like growing up in California it was like oh you want to be in fashion well you need to go to fashion school you know oh in London it was just this amazing creative energy and being surrounded by that I started to believe more in that I could just be this creative being and make money because that's just what they were doing so I'm going to stop there with the London experience because from there I ended up well, I'll give it to you short. I ended up getting married and so I could work legally. I worked for Harvey Nichols. I became a manager of a department. I was on the fast track to that industry, to working, being a buyer at Harvey Nichols. And you know, the thing was, is I was just missing home. I just, London is not California. We would get away, but the weather, it was so complicated, you know, as far as that went. and. I just didn't, I, I love the fashion, like honestly, I, I was so inspired by so much, so many amazing talents and all of the different, the Central St. Martin School of Art, like I, I did all of it. It was Covent Garden was just starting, you know, turning from being a market, being turned into boutiques, so many wonderful experiences there, but I couldn't live there anymore. I didn't want to have a baby with him because I knew I couldn't get the baby out. Like I just knew in my heart I had to leave. So anyways, I went back to California 
and I immediately started sewing. Like I felt like what, ca what America has that said London doesn't have, we just have enterprise. We're just like, go. Like we, we were raised that we could be the president of the United States if you wanted to, right? Where in London, it's a class situation and really they were limited by how much they thought they could do. Like those designers that were in Camden Market, you know, they were, maybe that was the, that was the top that they were gonna do. I mean, I don't know, I'm not judging them. I'm sure some of them did different things. I don't know as a, for a fact, but what I knew was I went back to California, not only knowing, wait, I can do this even if I don't go to school for four years or whatever, let's just start doing it. So I made so many mistakes, but I started off with a, like a swimwear line, which like, is that like one of the hardest things in the world to make? Now that I know what that's about, I can't believe that that's what I started with. Um, and I started with leggings. I started with um, active wear, like that kind of thing back then. So I am not sure if I should make this two parts, if this is gonna be too long of a video, but um, from there, I had a baby. I had a baby and I started making, of course, when you have a baby, you start making kids clothes. If you're creative, I got my collection, Fred Siegel's, um, and I basically was doing that from the time he was a baby. I've never worked really for anybody. I haven't worked for anybody else, I don't think. No, I have, I have not. Because when I was pregnant, I worked for a store, a retail store, but then after that, so pretty much after that, I was doing the shows. Um, there's a lot of details, like I don't know how deep I should go here, but I was doing all the trade shows, action sportswear show with my swimmer line. Um, selling to stores, making those mistakes, you know, of like maybe they didn't come out right because I didn't have the right sewer, blah, 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 all that. Then when he was about five, I opened my first boutique and tiny little cute boutique in Laguna Beach. Um, the most amazing thing was being a single mother because I realized I didn't have a baby just to like drop him off at daycare. I, so it was awesome. I had my mother was in town my father was close by i had family i had a support team and i could close the store and go to his soccer games if i wanted to i could close early and go pick him up if he was sick he could come and sit in the store and do his homework so it was a lifetime for him of you know being in a boutique with his mom for me it was having my boy close to me and being able to create my own little world um and there's several different uh layers of that so what i think i'm going to do is stop now and because this was really the history up to me getting my first boutique and i will do a part two on my on my next video how's that i love it that you're watching and you're interested i would i would love to answer any questions that anyone has i love to help young creatives um, guide and do whatever I can to support creative energy in the world. This is what our earth, this is what we are. And believe in yourself. Let me know if I can help you. Follow and like, and um, thank you for watching my channel. Part two is boutique business as a designer.